With the success of Pokemon Legends Arceus, Legends Rayquaza has been a big talking point in the Pokemon community. Also, I'm going to announce the winner of the 9,000 subscriber $10 <laughs> eShop gift card giveaway. That winner is 90s Handheld Gamer. So congrats, bro. You won the $10 eShop gift card. Comment down below or I can contact you and give you the code. But yeah, we're definitely going to do more subscriber giveaways in the future, guys. So make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll be starting a new giveaway shortly. Firstly, I wanted to start this video with a potential game concept for Legends Rayquaza. So I looked some stuff up on the internet, found some different storylines, and this was probably one of the best ones that I found. So I wanted to share it with you guys. This is from a Reddit user named Borcher97, and basically he just made a little concept. It's short, but really good. And uh, his concept is basically based around how every 1000 years in the Hoenn region, there's a bunch of meteor strikes, which Rayquaza is usually there to essentially save the Hoenn region from all their strikes of the meteors. And Jirachi also shows up every thousand years and he grants one wish. And so the Draconids, which is just like a dragon clan of people there in the Hoenn region, and they basically ask Jirachi to bring back Rayquaza to help them save Hoenn region pretty much and you know all the people around it and all the Pokemon but then Rayquaza comes back and he eventually turns into a mega evolved Rayquaza being the first ever mega evolution recorded in the game you'd play as one of the Draconids so like a younger Draconid and you're given a starter Pokemon in which you know the typical story of Pokemon you have a low level starter you catch other Pokemon you rank your Pokemon up so you can defeat the big boss at the end and you keep becoming a strong trainer and your job as one of the Draconids that got the starter Pokemon is to help save other Pokemon that are going crazy because all the meteor strikes when you finish different quests and different storylines within the game you get to see Kyogre and Groudon at the end fighting each other and then Rayquaza appears to stop the fight which could be really disastrous because it's two legendary Pokemon fighting. You know, that could cause some major destruction in the Hoenn region, maybe even destroy the whole region, who knows? And then Rayquaza Mega evolves to destroy a massive meteor that's about to hit on the Hoenn region, essentially just saving the day, saving the region for the next thousand years. Honestly, I think that's a really solid storyline because we get Jirachi in there and Rayquaza, so like we get a little bit of Jirachi and then, uh, you know, we get the wish from him and then Rayquaza comes back which is going to be kind of inevitable, but the Draconids, they, they're they freaking out, you know what I'm saying? They are going crazy because the Hoenn region is about to be destroyed by a bunch of meteors, a bunch of ginormous rocks coming down, smashing the earth. All the Pokemon are going crazy because they're being disrupted, of course, by just meteor strikes, which can destroy the Pokemon's homes, the humans' homes. So the Reddit user also gave us an idea of what he thinks the starter should be, and I honestly kind of like it. I like the idea behind it. Since they're a dragon clan, the Draconids, you know, dragon, Draconids, makes sense. It makes sense for them to have Pokemon that kind of resemble a dragon in a way. So your three starter Pokemon would be Charmander for the fire type, Totodile for the water type, and Snivy for the grass type, which I think is pretty solid, you know? I think that's one of the best ways to go with those type of three starters because they're definitely reminiscent of dragons and you know they're all really cool starters they're some of my favorite actually i definitely think there needs to be a few more specific details in the middle of the story but this this ready user was you know he was just giving us a little rundown a breakdown of what he thinks should be the storyline the essential storyline i guess in the legends rayquaza game i really do hope that we see another legends game because fans loved it i loved it Legends Arceus was so fun, and I would love to see a backstory behind so many more legendary Pokemon. And I think Legends Rayquaza is probably one of the top games that fans want besides Legends Celebi. I think that's the top one, but people make their own fan trailers, you know? There's a fan trailer for Legends Celebi, there's a fan trailer for Legends Rayquaza. Just look it up, it's really good, it's really creative. I love seeing these fan trailers. I definitely want to make one one day, I don't know about what game. I really think that the Pokemon Company hit it big with the Legends series because, well I guess I shouldn't say series yet because it's not really a series, it's just a one time game as of right now, but they hopefully will make a new one because people loved it and the game did really well for it being like a first time thing, you know what I mean? It got about like 14 and a half million sales I believe, which is around where BDSP sold, like I think BDSP might have sold just like 100,000 more copies 
which is still a lot of copies, which I think is pretty impressive, and I definitely think Nintendo sees this, and I think they see the potential for these Legends series games to grow. Maybe even if we get, like, another Legends game every, you know, two or three or four years, because Nintendo and the Pokemon Company, they have, like, a specific kind of schedule when it comes to Pokemon main series releases. Like, you know, every three or four years or whatever is pretty much a new generation. Every few years as a remake i can't remember the exact number of years for the remake but you know maybe they could fill in one of those years that they don't really have much going on with another legends game because i know this year they're dropping the dlc for scarlet and violet so that's pretty much all we're getting but maybe my theory is that they're gonna actually announce another legends game that's gonna come out early 2024 that's just my prediction that's my theory just because there's not much going on right now and they're a big company they're the biggest franchise on the planet they need to keep things rolling they need to keep things moving and I think one of the best ways to go would be with another Legends game. I think Legends Rayquaza would be a really awesome game. I can just imagine the cover art, like the cover art of Legends Arceus was really cool too. Like Rayquaza is one of the coolest and best legendary Pokemon out there in my opinion. And I know a lot of people feel the same way about that. So I think it'd be really awesome. I think there's a lot of potential in Legends Rayquaza. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for future giveaways. And I'll see you guys in the next video.